Hi there guys, um, I thought I'd put a quick video together just to explain my um, my learnings with regards to AMD's APUs. Uh, in this particular unit I have got a third generation um, Richland series, the A10 6800K. Um, I built this particular computer just as a secondary computer to my main gaming rig um, so that I could uh, play in peace uh, when my main PC was uh, being taken up by TV or something like that. Um, I started this build up pretty basically just by putting in um, the A10 6800 chipset. Um, I didn't couple it with any uh, extra graphics at that particular time. I also built it uh, with an A75 chipset uh, motherboard from MSI, Mini ITX obviously. Uh, 8 gigs of DDR3 1600 MHz RAM. Um, an SSD, a 128GB SSD, and a 1TB storage drive. Um, I built this particularly um, initially just to basically have a basic PC. Uh, I was interested to test out the abilities of the new um, third generation AMD platforms uh, once the FM1 and the um, Trinity, uh, Trinity series I think it was basically went away. Um, I bought into this particular one. Uh, when I started out, um, I didn't really have any intentions of doing anything further. Uh, my other rig is Intel based uh, with a much higher end uh, AMD GPU. So when I bought this basically, uh, it was I was pretty happy with it. Um, I, I played games like World of Tanks, uh, which it seemed to handle pretty well on relatively high settings, which was pretty good. Uh, but then I got the urge to basically try something a little bit different. Um, initially I had a um, Corsair 430 watt semi-modular power supply in here um, which um, did the job perfectly well. I then purchased a AMD uh, R7750 graphics card which had one gig of memory on it and didn't require any further um, power from the power supply at the time. Um, when I bought that card that was the highest spec card that I could purchase at the time um, that would basically allow me to use the crossfire functionality of the APU um, and it did really really well. Um, it definitely improved things substantially in World of Tanks for example. It also allowed me to play um, the likes of uh, Crisis 3 on medium to high settings at a reasonable frame rate of between 25 and about 35 depending on the scene uh, and it did the job very very well. Um, but then, unfortunately, as I used this computer more, I then developed the need for more graphics power, and I found that particular setup to be a little bit limiting. Uh, unfortunately, with the um, A10680K, that was the highest GPU that you could use in Crossfire um, with that particular G um, APU, and I then had to go one step further, and um, I upgraded my current PC to a R9... Uh, a new AMD R9 290X graphics card and I took out my older um, HD 6950 Radeon card out of that PC and brought it over to this one. Um, th and then the reason why I'm bringing you all my experiences is that effectively uh, it wasn't just as easy as taking out because the way I had built the system um, I usually would build in quite a bit of redundancy uh, into my system for future improvements uh, but in this particular one, I was just throwing a couple of old bits that I had together and wasn't wanting to spend a great deal of money. So the problem I ran into when I put in my trusty 6950 um, was basically that my power supply, which I had in the way previously of the Corsair 430 semi-modular, um, did not have uh, sufficient power to basically power all the actual connectors. So I was forced to um, upgrade, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So I purchased an OCZ ModX Extreme 650, uh, which came with all the relevant um, cables and bits and pieces that I needed. I got this for a really good deal um, originally on a Christmas savings. Um, and that basically has now given me a pretty decent set, a uh, game set. Uh, I've recently loaded Battlefield 4, uh, and that has been played on good high settings as well. Um, so the better quality GPU certainly does uh, make a difference. Um, so currently as I have the system, it's not really um, put together as it should be in the sense that I'm no longer using the APU's graphics core, so I'm using it specifically as a CPU now. Um, it's clocked pretty well, I think they clocked at 4.1 GHz uh, as stock and 4.5 I think it is um, at turbo. Um, so it does the job pretty well, but certainly it is not um, at the same level uh, of my 
Intel i7 that I have in my other rig that I can say. Um, but the nice thing about this, it was a, a nice learning curve to learn about the limitations and also the abilities of eight a AMD's uh, APUs. Um, as I talk about this, um, they have just released their fourth generation, which is now known as Coveri, I think it is, um, which is a um, R7 graphics core in it, so they're a they new generation of graphics. Um, and basically, they reckon you can play uh, Battlefield 4 on medium settings uh, with a frame rate of 30, or basically an excess of frame rate of 30. So that's a really good way to go, and I think if you can then crossfire with that with a slightly better GPU, um, you really are looking at a very, very capable system indeed. Um, but obviously the prices are starting to creep up as well. So I just thought that would be a nice um, idea, just for people who are either in the APU frame of mind, of actually building a setup, um, or looking to basically put one together, uh, that you may find yourself in a similar situation that I did, where um, you start out with a plan, and as you get used to it and you start enjoying it, your system kind of runs out of steam. So, um, in short, uh, if you are going to get an APU, uh, I would suggest that if you're going to end up going the same way that I did, uh, definitely make sure that you do not skimp on the power supply because that was an unnecessary spend uh, on my point of view. Um, and then, uh, basically, yeah, uh, apart from that, the APUs really do work well. They are fantastic for streaming 1080p video. Uh, and they do basic games, so if anyone looking to get into gaming, home theatre, that kind of stuff, they really do a really good um, job. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, any questions, as always, just please uh, submit them on the, the comments page below, and I'll get back to you with any questions. Thanks, bye.